I'm on my way to the Fen this afternoon to see if I can get any footage um, of anything in these nice, fresh, snowy conditions. I had a nice chat with Nina this morning, just talking through the, the direction that this segment that I'm filming is going to take. And then also thinking about the pieces of camera that I'm going to be filming, getting an idea for that. Motivation is high. I'm um, looking forward, even though it's very snowy, I'm looking forward to being out again this afternoon for a few hours to see what there is to see. Um, I've been trying to do a bit, a little bit more research into these otters and trying to figure out a little bit more about how I can identify where they might be. The territories is so big, that's the only issue is a, a male otter could could have a territory as, as long as 20 kilometers along the river. I'm going to be spending a little bit more time tomorrow afternoon when the weather's nice, walking along the riverbanks along the couple of mile stretch that I've been working on and where I've seen the otter to see if they're holding up somewhere closer to me or whether or not I might need to search a bit further afield potentially to find them. The good thing about the area that I'm in and that I've seen them in currently, obviously one, I've seen them so I know that they're there anyway. Two, other people have seen them over different periods of time in that area so I know that they're there regularly or semi-regularly anyway. Um, but also the location where I'm at along this river, it's quite close to the Fen and there's multiple different features and spots around this area of the river that would be good for otters to kind of hang around and hold up at. So I'm still very hopeful that I'm in the right kind of spot along the river to find them more regularly than other places potentially. Uh, but it is just going to be a case of spending as much time there as I can to get the opportunity to actually see them there, I guess. Anyway. I'm going to um, carry on down to the Fen and I will let you guys know when I'm there and keep you updated on what I see. Okay, so I'm back at the Fen in the Hyde. It's not as uh, white winter snowy scene as I thought it was going to be. It just looks very grey, very, uh, very wet, very wintry, but not particularly like a snowy wonderland, uh, which is fine. It's still snowing now, still snowing fairly heavily as well, um, and the lake looks like it has completely thawed out now, which is good. So I'm hoping that because the lake, at least for the last few days, has been pretty much fully frozen over, Hoping that now it's thawed out, the bittern might make an appearance. But time will tell. We will see. At least I've got the shelter of this beautiful, this beautiful hide to keep me uh, dry from the snow. I was contemplating setting up at the other side where I saw the fox yesterday. I'm sitting in my bag hide for a little bit, but it's not waterproof. I don't think I fancy sitting in the snow under a very wet piece of fabric for a few hours. Gonna finish setting up and crack on. The heron's just flying down onto the lake. No, uh, maybe not. It's actually just a flyby. Ooh. Yeah, what I thought was the bittern the other day definitely wasn't the bittern. It's definitely just a clump of wet reeds. During the summer and autumn, it was still difficult to spot the bittern, but it was a little bit easier than it is now because all the reeds were kind of stood tall and strong and you could see the movement between the reeds quite nicely. You could spot the bittern as it moved across in the top of the reeds as well. But now the cold weather's come in, the winter's set in and the reeds have started to die off a bit. There's lots of sections within the reeds where they've fallen over and kind of created messy, messy piles, which make it much more difficult to see clearly when there's movement going on or anything like that. So, so yeah, that's not ideal, but 
I like a challenge. They're rare and elusive for a reason. Like it is with the otter, it's just about patience and persistence. Spending time appreciating where you are and what's around you. Other than those target species that I'm looking for. So still great to be able to be here, be out. So I've just checked the weather again and it's not looking likely that the snow is going to ease off. I'm going to go for a quick walk around, I think. That moment when you realise you put it on backwards. Now that the camera's properly set up with the rain cover up, a cormorant lands on the lake. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna film that part as always. And we're about to pack up and move on. Something happens. Anyway, right, now I'm going to go for a walk. Okay, so I've just got back to the car. I went for a quick walk around to the trail camera uh, to check on that. I didn't check the footage or move it or anything, I just went to see to make sure that the snow wasn't covering it over and that it was still able to record. Um, yeah, I didn't want to get my phone out because it's still snowing and my hands are freezing and my feet are wet. So I've decided now there wasn't anything going on on the lake. The trail camera's all right there. The weather's just not fun to try and be in the elements filming. I'm gonna go home, have some lunch, try and warm up because I've got a feeling my feet are gonna get very, very cold. So yeah, let's go. Put this up, Trin. Shelter the mic. <laughs> What's the first line? It's winter. It's winter or something? Now it's winter. Yeah. Okay.